Oh boy. All right, today we got Mr. Gary's 2013 Nissan Altima here. He's my neighbor. We're gonna swap out this busted interior door handle. So uh, it's not too bad of a job. So let's see what we can, how quickly we can knock this out. So step number one is gonna be pulling this door panel. Um, so first thing you're gonna want a trim stick. I will have links in the description for trim sticks and this replacement handle. Um, I will also put a link right up here for one of the two. This little plastic cover back here. I normally would use a trim stick, but I don't have one that's quite thin enough. So I'm going to be very careful with a screwdriver, which you can do. Um, you just got to be super, super careful because uh, you can damage the plastic. So we pop that out. We got a nice 10 mil back here. Bam, bam, dunzo. Now, Moving on down, we got this finisher panel here. So I'm gonna use a trim stick for this one. And we're gonna go right on in and try and make sure again that we don't damage anything. So I'm gonna come in at this insert down here. So if something does get slightly damaged or bent, you can't really see it. There we go. These things are in there, boy. Bam. Ow. Owie, owie, owie. There we go. That trims off. So now we got a 10 mil, oh, 10 mil here. And 10 mil down here somewhere. I don't remember where. Uh, about to squat down here and find it though. So let's see, 10 mil there. Oh, here, let's get this out. There we go, there we go. There we go, fuck. Yeah. All right, so you pop this thing out, just pops up straight vertically. Just carefully work it out. Now we're gonna unplug it. So you just squeeze to release and squeeze to release. Ah, just like that. All right, cool. So now you got your three fasteners exposed. You got a 10 mil, a 10 mil, and a 10 mil. So we're gonna pop those all out um, and then tuck your wiring harness back in. And then once we get those 10 mils out, this whole panel, you just pull it and then lift it up. Then you gotta unplug this plug and detach if they're still attached, the cables to the handle. So let me go grab a 10 mil and we'll pop these out and then we'll continue on. All right, here we are. All three 10 mils are out. So you have one down here underneath the window motor or the window switches. You have one here behind this little panel and one here behind this tram panel. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our trim stick. We're going to go in at the bottom here. So you typically want to start at the bottom. You can also pull with your hands um, if it's easier, but I couldn't get it at the bottom. So we're just going to start up here in this corner. So you just go down and just pop all these little push tabs just like that. And then once you get it going, you just grab it by hand. up see what we're looking at here there we go so here's our problem on the handle itself so let's pull this one out and then we'll pull this over and lift it up bam now we got our plug down here let's figure out how to plug that okay there's a little push tab it's push and release now down here, way up under here, protected by some weird cover. You got this little push tab you got to push down and pull. Take this little fancy doodadder off, it looks like. Oop. And then push this light out to be able to get it unplugged. There we go. So you can probably just ride that ride that light out with it. All right, so once you have the door panel off, it is easy peasy lemon squeezy. We're gonna take off these three Phillips screws right here. So, oop. one, two, three. Simple as that. Make sure we don't drop these and lose them. And then this whole thing should just wiggle right out of here. It's got a couple little tabs that also hold it in so uh let's see if i can do this with one hand i missed my little headset that i used to have for my camera so we'll pull that one up and we'll pull this one back and we'll release it um I, i'm gonna need two hands for this though i don't think 
that I can see. But it was easy peasy lemon squeezy. I mean, you just pull, pull, <laughs> release this puppy out. So here's our new part right here. Part number is 80671-3TAOD. Bam, bam, bam. Comes in this nice little bag here. And we're gonna pop this puppy in there and shoot them screws back down. So, oops, get rid of this bag. So you just go right on in and then push until it clicks. Just like that. Now we got three Phillips screws here. Oops, dropped one. No. Uh, 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 Almost had to get the magnet for that one with these big old sausage fingers. So now we'll gently shoot these back down. Don't over tighten them. It's just going into plastic after all. Something's not right here though. Let's see. There we go. All right. Wham, bam, donezo. All right, so now you're just gonna do the exact opposite of how you took it apart to put it back together. We're gonna start with the little red door light that goes at the bottom. We'll fish it through, get it all put back together. Then we will hook up, we'll plug in the plug up here, hook up the lines, pop it down and pop in the little retainers. Let's do this the way we probably should have taken it apart. We'll plug this back in. Then we will push it through like that and then click it in so it goes in the top side goes into its little retainers like that and then the bottom side clicks in Sweet. Now we got this little plastic thing that's got to go back on back here. That's back on. Cool beans. Okay, now up here, we got this plug. It's plugged in. Those wires get pushed through that hole. So they do a good job of making these very obvious where it goes so the ball goes in the bottom part that's what was broken on ours then you slide that in there click click done done and on this one push it through this little greased spot like that turn sideways and then click all right now i'm going to set this back over here it takes two hands to get this set, make sure your wiring harness goes through the handle area, and then you just kind of work it into position, push it down. So once you get it pushed down like so, now you can come through, pop all your push pins back in. Bam, bam. Okay, now we need our three 10 mils. So you have these long coarse threaded ones. Um, they go, one goes in the door handle here. like so the other one goes up here in the high spot and then the one that goes behind the door handle itself the release handle is like this fine threaded bolt here all right now let's get these tightened and three ah. All right, now with this tight, we're just gonna pop the switches back in first, then this trim piece, then that finisher, and we are done and out of here. There's one.
There he is too. Now, there's three. Let's see how we did. A functional door handle. So links are in the description. They popped up somewhere in the video. Um, not a bad job at all. Honestly, this probably takes 15 minutes if you know what you're doing. <sighs> so if the video helped you out, hit the like button so more people can see it. And uh, yeah, have a good day.